Hi guys, sir. Uh, I'm just bringing you to an article I've done. So this is really for subscribers and uh, people who've been following the, uh, the blog, basically, uh, the, the YouTube blog. And uh, no doubt you've hopped over to Nuclear News. Um, and I'll just show you that. So and that's the blog I, I do some writing on and other bloggers put stuff on, you know, and we put news articles on for people to read and all sorts. Um, now it's all uh, basically done for free. So, uh, you know, there's no issues about people making money. Um, uh, and in fact, you know, when you look at Jam Noy 72 came up with this data. Uh, she's doing her own independent research and uh, she came up with this stuff which was useful for my research. Um, so, you know, there is, there is a, a place, you know, in the 21st century for bloggers who are researching, you know, whether you, you think that we're any good or, you know, what we're doing is, you know, but we're digging into PDFs, scientific PDFs, and, you know, we can get things that sometimes are missed by other people. Um, and that's, of course, not a message to my subs, because you know that. Uh, that's a message to anybody else who happens upon this video. Okay, so I'm going to go straight into this. Now, I've been doing a study uh, just very quickly to recap on uh, contamination, which I've been measuring with a Geiger counter, which means that there's radiation in the pollution. I then tied it to reported pollution incidents, um, and I've covered a lot of that. So at the end of the day, I then come across these figures. I looked at them, and, you know, there were four major radiological incidents over a, a period of about seven years well in the last few years basically the last four or five years and it has to be said that on each one of those occasions a correlation is found to an increase in miscarriage stillbirth and respiratory problems okay so and and the reason we don't know this is because they don't collect the data in a central way that nobody's analyzing it in the way that the bloggers are analyzing it you know ask yourself why that is because the bloggers look into it and they come up with this horrible statistical fact that people need to know about but somebody and someone does know about it because they are collecting the data because we got the data so they say they haven't got the data but they do so what are they doing with it and are they, you know, are they making a decision like the Japanese and saying, well, we're not going to give the data out because everybody would be in fear and it would affect business. And that's what the Japanese are saying. And that's, you know, it's obvious. They put, a, you know, a business, you know, a, well, they had an election and the election, you know, shall we say, had some problems, you know, the, the process of the election. Uh, there's conversations in Japan and, and uh, around the world about that, to be honest, you know. And um, now what we're finding basically is that business immediately wants the reactors back on, so they're going back on. And it doesn't matter that the majority of the Japanese people don't want that. So let's take it over to England. The majority of the English people don't want to have an increased risk of respiratory illness. They don't want to see their old people dying because they've got weak respiratory systems. And they don't want to see their young people dying or not even being born or if they are born they're dead because you know none of us like that it's happened to me uh, and my family my wife my ex-wife and uh, you know it's not a pleasant thing we want to keep that down to a minimum especially the late ones which we had so uh, an increase in late uh, sort of uh, miscarriage is uh, is a thing that's happening as well you know, these very simple preliminary findings, but what stuck out in my mind and why I'm saying that on such a little amount of data is because it just matches up, you know, Chernobyl, Budapest, Hungary, in, uh, the Budapest um, I, Medical Isotope Institute in Hungary, you know, um, Fukushima, you know, uh, all these, and then the Sellafield. <laughs> so, you know, there's, everything is tying up. It's bloody obvious. And these, you know, uh, the, the isotopes are, are being covered up. I've proved that because, you know, the, the, the whole radiological mapping system gets switched off every time there's an incident. 
um, so that we can't see the high amounts of radon, which they then write off to the rest of the nuclear community as norm, which is you know from um, you know from the ground. It's come from uh, Bodmin Moor or somewhere, but you know no, it hasn't. You know, we, we we can see clearly on on maps that I've got uh, of pollution, where you can see it coming all the way down from Sellafield, polluting the whole of the UK, and hitting London badly because we're in a bowl. And that's you know this is the place where you're going to get, you know, the worst of the uh, the, the stats I would say, uh, because you know if the rain drops it here, it travels in the air, you know, and it stays here. And we, we, we have very unfortunate weather patterns in the south. So anyway, so that's that. And, and this video, I'm going to leave a link to it. Oh, not the video, but the, um, the article, I'm going to leave it to it. It has lots of links, lots of info about miscarriage, about how, you know, how it's being covered up. I'll make the correlation between Japan and the UK and the UK covering up, you know, uh, with a statistical analysis as opposed to real counting. Uh, also make an issue about the, uh, the, 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 you know, the genetic blood tests they can do for damage to ionizing radiation. Um, you know, what can I say? The, there is a, there is a, uh, I've seen the video on NHK, this lady saying, you know, please send us these blood samples, you know, because we can tell. Uh, and then the Japanese government's having an ethical debate on whether they should uh, be doing this with uh, DNA and what have you, you know. Uh, that, you know, instead of asking people of Fukushima, do you want a blood test? And then if it, you, you know, you prove that you've got damage from ionizing radiation later on, if you develop cancer, you can take it to court. Well, that's what the Japanese government doesn't want. That's what the UK government doesn't want. So it's uh, not happening. Right, so we move along, uh, moving on down. Um, I just draw some attention to BBC and the science, and I say 70% of uh, the reports that are done, peer review reports, were found faulty in one way or other. Um, some were quite bad, you know, they were they're either just cut and pasted or others were just lies. And that was a recent report about you know, last year, I believe. And uh, so we, we trust peer reviewed literature, don't we? And then we go to the BBC and of course they back all this very bad science up, this limited science based on statistics. Um, so we need a bit of common sense. All right, so I'm making a long-term prediction that MOX fuel has gradually increased it and all these other incidents has given us little little peaks along the way um, and I can say that because you know year on year 20% you know the MOX fuel we're, we're sending it off to Japan here there and everywhere well we're creating the, the radon and all the other gases there are other isotopes um, you know, some only live for a few few hours uh, but they eventually all kind of become a leady sort of thing and then they change later on so it's food for thought there maybe so I say, can we trust our scientists? Do they work for us? You decide. You need to decide. You need to have a conversation about this. Um, H1N1. I was worried, you know, I was saying, what's that two, early 2009 peak we had? And uh, I think it was contributed to this, vaccines, by the hospitals again. So um, I'm not...